Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I've made these really cute little hanging ornaments. It's just a little shadow box with some acetate and then inside it's got these Kindle chocolate snowmen. Um, I brought six of them, they were in a strip and it was two pound I think, but then if you just split them down, so I've divided them down to little, you know, pairs and I've got three little kind of, you know, extra gifts and these kind of things are you know obviously they're perfect for the tree for your own home but also they're just nice little add-ons so just to kind of fill up the gift that you might be giving someone you can pop that in their gift bag as well so yeah they're really nice relatively easy to make if you've made shadow boxes then you're going to find this tutorial very straightforward this one here has acetate on it I will show you the acetate but there it is without and it looks just as nice so don't worry if you don't have the acetate because I still think it looks good the only thing the acetate really does is protect it if maybe you're going to be posting it I think if you're just going to keep it in your own home I would just skip the acetate and just keep them like this. So let me show you how to make them. Okay, so for all of the boxes, I've used the Magical Stories. This is the Paper Addicts. Beautiful pad. I've just enjoyed that one so much. Then I've got some skinny tinsel here that I'm going to use for my handle. The little kind of sentiment. So that one says Merry Christmas and that one's got with love. And they have come from the Christmas Tales. They are the sentiment toppers. So I will probably use the Merry Christmas on this one here. And there's the other two little snowmen. The sooner these get stuck down, then I've got no temptation to eat them because I won't destroy my gift. But whilst they've been loose, it's just that I have, honestly, to the right of me, I have a, just too many chocolates and they're all being put into projects. So it's slowly going down. So yeah, they're soon gone. Okay, so what you want, first of all, is you want some nice, obviously, you want a double-sided paper, really, because inside there you can see you know you just got all that detail and on that one there there's little Christmas trees behind them so if you don't then you can just obviously add some pattern paper into it or if you want to keep it plain then you can do because you know you may not have these you'll have something different in there you could easily if you're going to put the acetate on you could put a little gift in there so you know there's lots of ways to change this to suit your needs but whatever paper you want on the outside so for example the polka dot or the the one here was the uh, holly and the berries. You want that facing up, okay? And this is a piece of 10 by 10 and a half. You're gonna score at half an inch, one and a half inches, two inches, and three. And then rotate and repeat again. So half an inch, one and a half, two inches, and three. And do that again on this side, and again on this side. And then pop it back where you began. So again, make sure it's up the right way in the 10 inch, along the 10 inch side there. And you're also going to score at three and a half past the first score line and just down to the second. And then again at six and a half past the first score line and down to the second. Then rotate it so you've got the other short side now at the top. So again, that other 10 inch side and you're going to do the same. Three and a half past the first score line down to the second. And then at six and a half past the first score line down to the second. Okay, that's all the scoring that you need to do if you're just going to keep the box. If you want to add the acetate, then I have here a piece of, it is four and seven eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. And on all four sides, just score at one inch. Rotate, one inch, rotate, one inch. I always say actually, whenever you use the acetate, you should use a, a metal stylus. It will just embed those score lines much better I've already scored this anyway, but I always like to show like so. Let's go over that one one more time. There we go. Okay, so that's now all the scoring done. Keep the acetate to the very end, because like I said, it's, it's not really needed unless you are going to be posting it or you do want to add that little extra. So now you just want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, so now we need to do some cutting. So you want to cut along the 10 inch side, doesn't matter which one, but just one of the 10 inch sides. And what you want to do first of all, is you're going to cut down those score lines that you just scored past the first down to the second. You see my two there? So first of all, you just want to cut down those score lines and I'm cutting away the score line, okay? Then you'll get to the top of this one here. And you want to go across on an angle to the top of the next one. I'm going to add in a playlist now which is full of shadow boxes. Check that one out just so again you know some of them you might be able to see it a bit clearer. Again I you know this paper is a bit busy but I've got templates and stuff on the other ones and then you just want to cut down 
that one inch and you should join that last score line. So all of that cutting has been done within all of the score lines on this part. So again, I'll just show you there, you can see now in a bit more detail. So there's your first score line, and then there's the second score line. So first of all, you cut down to the second score line, then cut across so you meet this score line here. See, it's all joined up, and then just cut down to that last score line. Then this section here, you're going to cut away completely. Again, I'm cutting away all the score lines as I do this. Like so. So that is the shape that I've removed. Move that there, you can see better. That's the shape you want. So it's a complete square, apart from this little extra piece that comes off the side there. That's what you want to cut off, all your corners. So I'm going to go to this one here. So again, there's that score line that we just scored down to the second score line. So I'm just going to cut down to that. And you can see, here's where the other score line is. So you're just cutting across, in my case actually I'm following that that's pattern on the paper perfectly, just to that one there. And then you're just going to carry on down to that one. And again, I'm just going to remove all of that completely. Okay, so there's my other bit. I'm going to not speed this up, so I'm going to go and do the opposite end now. So again, where you've done those other score lines. Again, pass the first score line down to the second. Then I'm going across that, that half inch section. And then I'm just cutting down that last piece. And then rotate, and that one you're just cutting down to join it up. Okay, so there's my other one, and then again, cut down past the first and second, cross, and then down. It might be worthwhile doing this on some scrap paper first, and keep it as a template just so you can see exactly where you're cutting, but that's the pieces that I've removed. Okay. And then that is the shape that you should have. So on here, you should have a one inch, half an inch, one inch, half an inch. Same on that side. And here, you've got your one inch, half an inch, one inch, and half an inch. You just kind of, you basically, all you've done is you've just cut this piece out. If you imagine you just cut those big squares out of each corner, you could even do that first if you want, just cut perfect squares from each corner, and then just go in and cut this little extra piece off. Okay. Right, now we need to do some gluing, so I want to make sure it's up the right way. So first of all, I'm going to fold in these side pieces. So you want to fold it in half so you've got one inch and half on that side, and then one inch and half on this side. So you can see they're facing up. And then I'm going to use some of my, this is my old Tombow, but do you remember I brought so many of them? And as long as you're sparing with it and you don't let it go over the edges, I still really enjoy the Tombow. But if it goes over the edges, it's just such a tacky glue. It stays tacky. It's perfect for foiling, things like that. So, you know, so it has got great properties. Okay, so I've just popped it on that half inch piece there. And then just fold the whole thing over and just stick that down. And this way you're ensure that you're getting everything really lined up and kind of, you know, square. So it's going to have a really nice shape. And then when you bring it up, you've already started to get one of your sides there. Okay, so again, I'll show you on this one, just popping it on that outer half inch piece and then just fold the whole thing over. And again, just bring it up and now you've got these two pieces. Okay, next you want to do the same on the other one. So fold it in half so you've got a half inch and a one inch piece. Now what you want to do actually, I always forget this, but test it first, because what's going to happen is that is going to end up going inside, but you might find that it catches on the sides there. So with this section here, just take a very small wedge, just it's it really is a small amount. You can see there what I've just cut away, but it will just stop your box kind of catching and looking a little bit squashed, because you don't want to force any of this corner I'm just going to go in and just tidy that one up a little bit there as well. So again, keep that all nice and square and now just do a test of popping that in there. 
can you see it all sits in really nicely okay so just do that on the other one as well which I'll do in a moment but again you're just going to then pop glue on that top half inch piece okay and then what I like to do is just flatten those two sides out again and fold this one right over and just stick that piece down and again that way everything will stay because it's going to be lined up because of your score lines you're just following that bring that one up and now you can see we've got that piece so what will happen is when we put it all together it will all lock in to place once we've glued it like so so I'm just going to test this one here I think that's going to catch ever so slightly. So I'm just going to take a very thin piece off of there. And fold it in half. Flatten those ones and then fold that one in. Okay, so right now you'll have this odd looking shaped piece. But once you start to bring up the sides, we're going to add just a tiny bit of glue under these corners here. And you've got your shadow box. Okay, so I'm not going to use that glue now because, like I said, it stays tacky and the glue will ooze out. But I'm going to use this one because it's got a really quick, quick grab. This is the Cosmic Shimmer. So I'm just going to pop. It always gets blocked though, but it's my own fault because I don't put the little lid on it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little piece on the corner in like a triangle shape, just like so. And then again, just in that corner there. And then that corner there. And then just kind of bring it all up at the same time, popping those pieces underneath. And as you do, the glue will grab. And just kind of keep it in that shape. Push down on it a little bit just so it does obviously seal. Okay. Yeah, there's your little shadow box and on the other ones that I've done I've put little I've done photo frames so I've put a stand on the like back and you can rest it back and have it as a shadow box you know frame you can put little kind of die cuts and create a little scene in there I've done double shadow box cards I've done a large uh, six by six shadow box I've done shadow box gift boxes so do check out that playlist because there's loads of inspiration on there and you may really like this size but you might choose to do one of the other things with it okay so now we've got the acetate so what you want to do here is you want to cut out all of the four corners so you just want to cut up and just remove one of the corners there you can just see I know it's difficult to see the um, acetate but again you're just removing the corners okay and once you've removed them again I just like to take a little wedge off of each of those straight edges you can do it all at the same time when you take the square out but I just like to break it down so I'm just then taking just so you've got little kind of tabs really and that one there Okay, and now just fold all of your sides like so, and you'll have this piece, and then that will fit inside. Okay, so I'm just going to take that one out. Now, what I did do is I attached double sided tape to the bottom one and stuck it down in there so it's like a hinge. So you can then pull this one out once that's in. It will just come down, then people can get the chocolates and then maybe keep it for something afterwards. You may want to put a little tab on there, so maybe a bit of matching paper. Maybe let's try this one here. Um, take that one off. I didn't do it on the other one, but you may find that you know it's something you want to do. So let's just fold it in half. So it's just one of the squares. It's a one by one square there that I've just cut from that piece. And then if I just fold it in half, so I don't even need all that, and then cut it in half again. That's kind of all I need. And then you could stick that to the top there so it's just hanging out. You see there, just on the outer part of the acetate. And then you can just use that to pull. So I might add that on in a minute. So what I'm going to do is, I might as well put the acetate in because I've shown you I'm not going to waste this acetate. So I'm going to pop some double sided tape along the bottom so you're working on the short side because it's it's not it isn't square. So you've got your shorter side here. Just take the backing off. 
and I'm just going to slide that one in the bottom and it's one inches deep so it's the same depth as the shadow box okay so that's just stuck in there and then on the bottom of your whatever it is you're sticking in I've just got some glue dots here these are the stick to anything range I'm just going to pop a couple of glue dots on the bottom of these and they sit perfectly side by side because I made these especially obviously for these ones so I know they're going to fit and that'll cover up anything you know if you do see any of your tape like so so now they, they move a bit but they won't fall out and then I can just I like to kind of keep it so that the acetate's got a bit of a bounce so it kind of locks in when it goes in like so okay and then do I want to stick that on there yeah see what I mean so if you put that on there then you've got like a little pull tab so that's optional I may leave mine off I don't know but it's there just want to show you because some of you may want to do that and then I've got some of the skinny tinsel so I'm just going to cut a little bit away there I have my topper I actually think I prefer the with love so I'm going to go for that one so again it might I'm going to have to lift it up a bit higher because I don't want it to stop the acetate opening so I'm going to stick that one just there and then these I'm just going to stick on with a little bit of hot glue I mean if you want to you can go in with a hole punch before you put it all together and just hole punch a bit there and, th and thread the ribbon through or you can just put a little paper handle just like you would on a gift bag but I'm just going to use this glitter because I just like it I'm just going to stick that on top there, just put a little bit of hot glue on the end. There you have it, a cute little tree decoration and you could put a little message on the back here if you want to do a to and from. I have added card blanks to the back so I've turned them into cards, again that's all in that playlist. But now I've got three very cute little gifts which cost me £2 so I think it's a bargain. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial, I hope it inspires you to create you know something that's going to suit your needs. If you did enjoy today as always please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!